Okay. Hi, baby. This video is for you. What day? What day is it today? Today. Today is the twelfth of September. The eleventh of September. When we find out that we were actually pregnant and we're actually bringing into the world. And I'm going to try my best just to be the best mummy in the world and to give you all the things that I never had. And you're just going to be amazing. so so amazing in my household i thank god i thank every single person out there who has messaged me to look for me because you know they wanted to know where i'm at i am now a mom to a beautiful boy um that i'm obsessed with i'm so obsessed with him he is just my whole life and more literally i cannot I cannot say how happy I am and how blessed I feel that he actually picked me to be his mom. Just every day it's just like I just stand there staring at him like you're mine. I'm going to do my labour and delivery story. I'm not gonna do the whole entire thing because it's quite lengthy. Um but this experience was this experience that I never forget. Really challenged me as a person. I didn't know if I was gonna um, complete it. You know, in this video, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit forthcoming. I want to be able to express, you know, what happened, and you know, and I'm in private. So I like the privacy, but um, I feel like there are a few things that I can tell you my story that maybe you can connect okay <sighs> how do i go back so i'm gonna add a little some maybe i'll add some clips to the ones that i'm not too too you know like you can see on my vagina and ha 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 there might be one or two clips that i might insert into this video just for the the flair the deal um, <laughs> the um, the tin that's gonna bring it up um where do i start i really wanted this baby out i got to like 29 uh i mean sorry 39 and i was i was fed up i said oh yeah stop packing your bag you need to leave now your rent is due you didn't pay it get the hell out of here okay my pregnancy was not something that i enjoyed I only have a partner that ha helped me through the devastation because it was a lot. My body was really, it was really wow. It's quite painful, and <laughs> pregnancy was not a, was not a good one. It was it was shit from the beginning to end. 
was challenging on my body physically, mentally, emotionally. I was done out here. My water broke. Okay, this happened in the course of four days. I have to um, put that out there first. Is it four days or no? No, that's a lie. No, that's a lie. Maybe everything in total came up to a week, right? So let's say on the 31st, no, on the 31st of April, um, I noticed a little bit of ointment is coming out. Okay. By the way, this is TMI. If you don't know, don't really like to know about labor, just click the and come out of here. Okay. I had some stuff, you know. It's like the water is coming and breaking, but it didn't break fully. Okay. So, so on the like in the in. 31st of April, I had I thought my water had, waters had broken, um, so I went to the hospital. Upon arriving the hospital, they checked me. Boom! They said you're not in labour. You're not in active labour, and but we're going to induce you, okay? Because the water has already opened. So I said, okay, okay. What's the what's going to happen? They said how um, I'm gonna put this thing. I think it's a catheter. No, like it's like it's called the balloon in like balloon induction. So they put the um, balloon inside. When I tell you that pain, yeah, it's like when I started. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a very I don't know. It's like, I don't really like pain, but I can withstand it. Like, my body will withstand it. It's weird. It's like, I don't like it, but I can really hold quite a lot of pain and, and be able to tolerate it while it's happening. But if I have the thought in my mind, and like, as in, can I do this? I will, I will not do it because I'm not there for, but I don't like pain. They said it's like a catheter that you put in. It's like having a smear test. So I'm like... Okay, so surely it shouldn't be that bad. When I tell you guys, it is horrible. It is horrible. It is the most horrible thing. And I tried to go in the house back there because I thought, you know what? Yeah, they said it's like a swear, but I came to yourself. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna be scared. I'm gonna be okay. Okay, cool. Blah blah blah. But in this moment, I'm, I started like my contractions as well. Like so they're coming, but they're not. They're not too painful. They're just sort of like yeah i can feel that i'm not i'm not my high self i'm not happy okay so i went in there and i lied down there they put my leg i said okay then they put something then they put something then they put something i was still all right i was still you know when you're breathing you're still so that breathing now turned to tears the breathing started to cause the tears. First lady wasn't able to put it in there. Then they now called the man to come, and when he done it, uh, I said, "I have to really go home and I've got to pray right now because I they, because they already started. You can't even go and be like, no, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I had to finish it up." I remember calling my partner saying I'm actually quite happy that he was not here because it was so viable like even the way I you know there's some some there's some pains that you feel and there's some ways that you look yeah I know when you're in a relationship um no matter what like your partner should just sort of like whatever you look like however you feel they should accept you whatever but there's a certain level of love <laughs> that I felt and that it looked like to me that it made me think I'm so happy that my man was not here to see it. Do you know what I mean? There's a certain level that is just beneath you and me. <laughs> it's just too beneath you. You just think, I don't want to share this with anyone. I don't want anyone to ever see this. Like it just was so painful. Girl, she came, she came and walked me over to my ward and um, I was in bits. Like I felt like I couldn't walk. I felt like I couldn't like my body was just doing somehow like i was just feeling mad so then i went to my ward don't even talk to me about the wards first of all because 
there was a woman in there just snoring and making noise like I was just I was over it I was like how did you come we were about to deliver baby everybody's tired you now came here to come and snore I was so angry because I was struggling to sleep anyway so now that I'm struggling to sleep and I'm just gonna come and bring your long neck and start nah, nah, nah. It's jarring I had to keep it in I had to keep the balloon in for 12 hours and you know honestly I don't even know how I did up until that 11 I only did 11 and 30 minutes I said to them I cannot do it anymore I can't I came out the first time they were like no sorry but do you know what they kind of do here yeah, because you got a choice you have a choice within yourself to say yes or no to procedures what they tend to do is either they don't come back to the room or they sort of just like ignore you you ever walk into like an environment yeah, and you're just like um can i have um some milk please and then everybody's just looking at the walls everybody starts scattering i'm just like wait what the hell i'm like hi I, can, um, I don't want i don't want this anymore when i got to the five hours after i don't want this anymore be come on to come on collect your rubbish <laughs> i'm ready to I'm ready to wash my hands off it. Some people will start scattering, scattering around the room. You're thinking, are you dumb? I'm talking to you, you're flying here. You're still chatting to your brethren. No. Hello, this needs to be removed. I had some painkillers. So, um, the painkillers obviously helped and it made me fall asleep. But it was like, sort of like you're some, like conscious, but not really conscious because you're in so much pain. So it's like, I'm just sort of in and out and in and out of sleep. So anyway, Nobody, I realised that nobody came to come and collect me. They were checking baby, they could do it, sorry you got you just got three more hours, don't worry, okay cool, I'll send someone in for you and nobody will end up coming. Back to my wards and that when it gets to the 11 hours and 30 minutes I was just like, listen, I went to the corridor and I was crying my eyes out. I said, listen, I've done this long, nobody's even bothered to even come in and check me and they were like yeah well the reason why we do that is just because we don't we want you to get on with it we want you to start these contractions we want you to start these contractions i said but if i'm dying yo i need i would need help you're, nobody's saying anything i'm by myself you're not allowing my family in here you're not allowing my man in here so if i need help you need to come and come to my room but to the 11 or 30 minutes then someone came and they removed my they removed the thing out and I was four centimeters. Okay, cool. So this was like I was four seven, four seven, four centimeters, and it was around like the time it was probably like, probably about four a.m. So now, like as soon as it came out, I felt so relieved. I was like, I can sleep. I can. I will never, Omar. I will never do that. I will never. There's some things that I personally will tell you. Oh yeah, it's okay. Be doing it even if it's. It's the worst pain, the worst pain I have ever felt. It was horrible. The following morning, so this is around like when they're giving out their, their nonsense breakfast. Breakfast that doesn't start, it doesn't make any, it does, everything is just mumble jumbled. Horrible food. So anyway, um, the morning they're coming to come and ask you whether you want sweets, blah, 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 blah. So they even offer me bread, bread with butter. bread and buff. Okay, what kind of nonsense? Do you know where I'm, I am? I'm a queen. You want to come and give me bread and butter? Bread and butter at me. <laughs> want to come and give me bread and butter? How dare you? How dare, how dare you? The lady comes in to me. She's like, hi, Grace. You know, we just checked the baby. Baby's fine. Everything is fine. Um, but we just want to tell you that unfortunately we don't have any beds. The way she even said it, like it rolled off her tongue, like to say what she's saying is making sense. I don't have any beds. So, we don't have any um, delivery beds in the delivery suite. So, unfortunately, um, you have the choice of waiting for 24 hours, right? Um, or you have to, um, sorry, uh, we're going to send you to another hospital. I said, moi. <laughs> hey! I said, the hospital that I've been in since I've started my pregnancy and everything you want to just come and because you don't have space do you know who i am okay okay hello but yeah i just um was like all right cool i called my partner i was like oh this is what they said this is what he was like what how are they going to tell you to leave like what's that why would they blah blah, blah. but let me say oh i was ready to get stuck kickstart my induction i was four centimeters 
from the from the 4 a.m. I'm thinking, yeah, I've got time to go. Getting excited. So um, yeah, he called back. He he spoke to the nurse and everything, and then they took, brought me a cab with another lady to um, um, the next hospital. So I reached the next hospital, and you know, I get they just wheel me into the delivery suite. Pew pew pew, pew pew pew. Holla holla. Yes. I'm ready, I'm getting excited, I'm in my room, I'm in my delivery suite, mm -mm -mm. Uh, and then they checked my, they put me in my room, they checked my um, cervix, and then this is where everything just, it's like I should break my head on the floor. They checked it and they said because um, they were supposed to have done the induction straight after the, um, after they take, took out the balloon, my cervix is now back to one centimeter. I said, it's like everybody's brain is mad. It's like everybody's crazy. Why are you telling me I did the 12 hours to get to the 4 centimeter for you to tell me in my in my face now that I'm only 1 centimeter? Are you crazy? I was <laughs> like, nah, nah, this is just, you know, something that happens. Unfortunately, there was no bed. I said, it's like everybody's crazy here. You're looking at me like a, huh? It's a joke, isn't it? You're telling me now that I'm only 1 centimeter. And I was just like, don't even think about it. Listen, you know, we're in the suite now. This is this is it now, babe. We're gonna have the baby, so just don't even so all of those pumping stuff that he was telling me, I was getting excited. I just said, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. Basically, now this is when they introduced me to the gas and air. Cool. Gas and air was <sighs> everything was just going down nicely. <laughs> everything was just going down sweetly still giggling you know when they're still in the beginning i'm still giggling and still still having fun whatever so basically in order for those who do not know in order for them to kick start your um your contractions they have to help they have to use something to help to kick start it so that you can start driving um uh, it's called uh, i think i believe in america it's called pitocin and then over here is called oxytocin i believe i think don't don't quote me but it's something like that what happens is that the, the that oxytocin will basically bring on your contractions but it's more apparently it's more painful because it's um it's like a fake it's their fake contract they're not they're not they're not um brought it's not your your body didn't naturally go into labor you're forcing the labor to come so usually it tends to be more more painful mind you i didn't know that <laughs> so anyway we, they start the pitocin and then someone comes in and i told that i told them in the beginning that i started my the, the day like this before even starting you know entering bed and all of those things i said i have to talk to somebody immediately i said listen just because I can withstand the pain does not mean that I want to feel the pain. Did you did you get that? Because a wolf cannot fly in the jungle without eating the biscuits. I said, listen, when they brought me the person that's running the whole day, I said, listen, I don't want anybody to try anything stupid here. Okay. I need the epidural quick and quick. You put the heavy jewel nicely inside and then any other painkiller that follows, I want it. I'm not here to be superman. I'm not here to be super lady. I don't want to be jet lady. I don't want to do anything that people love to do to prove themselves. That's not my business. I need the powerful um, injection, I mean as a painkiller that will really stand at my back. And stand at my front. I'm not here to do any proving to anybody, any nonsense. <laughs> you know when people are like, I just want to feel it, I just want to. No. It don't take all the pain away. So I made sure I spe specified it from the very beginning that I want the epidural, I need all the painkillers, I need what I need, just give me what I need. They were cool about it, yeah, 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 that's fine, no worries, we'll get that done for you. So a guy comes in, a very friendly guy comes in and he starts the prep and the prop and all of that for my epidural. So this is before 
any Pitocin is put inside me or anything, they're just getting everything started. So what I'm going to do is just going to start with a clean up of your back, okay? This is literally just cleaning fluid. And we can I borrow you just to, I just need to get a bit more of a gap in here. So maybe, did you lift up the tube? It's actually coming again cold. And I'm not too sure if Grace is actually totally square on the bed. I know that seems like a tiny detail, but no way. Is she, could you just maybe, I get a feeling her legs need to go to her right, so your left. Uh, how it looks from your angle, but yeah, that's that's the sort of thing. That's cool, that's probably it actually. Enough, I think. Well, it's all that lining stuff up, Grace, that's why I'm getting kind of. Alright? Yeah. Keen on all over my selection, I'm putting as much in as I possibly can. <coughs> Just relax for now. Do you have a conjunction? No. Okay, alright. Just relax your posture. I don't know, whatever's the nicest posture for you, that's fine. You're all good. So, needles are done. All I'm doing is sticking it down now, okay? Okay. Good. Come on, Yeah, you're all good. You're all good. No needles, all I'm doing is like sticking stuff down, okay? So I don't mind if you want to sit, like I said, if you want to sit up, it's totally fine. Okay. You're the boss now. Well, you're always the boss, but. Uh, you're not going to do yourself damage by maybe sitting out. Straighten shoulders out if you want, whatever. That was unusual. It's like I'm missing, I'm skipping because everything is still like a uh, jumble jumble to me. So before they put the epidural in, my um, contractions have started okay and the contractions were light they were very very light very like exactly as they say period pain like very pe period pain like you know a little bit of mm. and obviously because they had they had done the balloon thing my my area down there was really painful was really sore so i was feeling the contractions more sore than more sore than painful. They now brought the hemp in jewel. Okay. They prepped it. I felt something cold go down this area. And then they were putting the epidural at my lower back, like the beginning of your ass crack. Okay. So as they are prodding and prodding and prodding and doing all of those stories, um, I sit back, I take my gas in air, I start getting ready for this contraction now like i said the contraction is still you can still you can still you can still you know this moment now the the pain is still bearable i can still be it um they now started to put the um, pitocin so every shot of epidural they will shoot the um, oxytocin up as well so that I can feel you know the, the epidural will take the pain away and the um, the um, oxytocin will bring on the contraction so that I can get closer and closer to baby that's how we started <laughs> and I was like okay this is so it's okay you know manageable I think I can do this who is everybody is telling me that you can do it what is shut up your mouth and even my mom was telling me in the beginning, she said, oh, you do natural, do natural. And I'm thinking, fam, why did I not do natural? Because this is even before I had asked for my first epidural for them to squeeze it up. So I was thinking, ah, they already put the potosin. I'm connecting everything. I'm like, bruv, this is looking like it's doable. Maybe I should have listened to mom and not got the epidural. So as I'm doing, I'm just feeling something is, the pain is 
going to the next level. So I'm like, oh, still it's very, it's doable. You can, you can use the um, the gas to help you to, you know, relax and to calm down. Um, so I'm there, I'm working on this. I'm breathing on the thing, I'm breathing, I'm breathing, I'm breathing, I'm inhaling, I'm breathing, I'm breathing. You know what? When people talk about epidural, yeah, this is the thing, I can't let this one go. When people talk about epidural, it's like they're like, oh yeah, you get the epidural, it's bad sick, it's bad good. Nobody actually says what it is. So in my mind, when all this was happening, I know that it's some form of painkiller, like it takes the pain away and da 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 da. But I don't know what how the pain relief is supposed to be. I don't know whether it's supposed to be like I'm supposed to be numb, or is it that you know, it's like paracetamol and it just takes the pain away or like the way if you have a huge migraine and you take a pill and you just get the relief. So I was not sure of what is really like, what, well, what, you know, what's the deal with it? Like, I just felt like, yeah, I'm gonna put you, I want to put you, but you sister, you don't even know what it is. You don't even, you don't even know like what it actually is. You're just there opening your mouth saying, oh, no, 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 no. That's how the thing is just going, the thing is just going. I'm just saying, yeah, give me a shot of epidural, blah, blah, Now it got to a point, this is like level 15. I'm like, yo, I'm breathing and I'm, sh I'm shouting. But the, I'm shouting and it's not, it's not loud, very, eh? like it's, it's still, I'm shouting, but it's not really, it's not bogus. <laughs> part of it and going to the level of I'm going to break down uh, I'm telling the lady I'm like bro <laughs> this pain is much it's coming up it's coming it's just much and they're like oh but is the aperture or not why is the like can you not feel the aperture I said MP has failed us because <laughs> MP, MP has failed me because I cannot see anything that is doing. I cannot see anything that is doing. What is it doing? I'm not feeling anything that is actually like is that to say yes, you're working. I'm not seeing any working. So what's going on, bro? Like I'm at this I'm getting agitated, like because you I'm not getting by the epidural. I can't feel this so-called epidural. I can't feel it. The fifth, you know when I said I'm going to number 15, that's how I got to one billion. <laughs> I got to 1 billion from 15 to 1 billion and I was shouting yo girls <laughs> pregnancy is not a joke to feel what I felt naturally because there's no there's no pain there's no pain like that that I've ever felt in my life even when they come and they use tattoo and they do all of this thing, it's just that's a, just a chicken pain. That's a chicken pain. <laughs> it's it's like period pain, pain on steroids. It's, ah, no, no, no. It occurred to me very quickly that something is not like my painkillers are not working, or maybe I'm thinking, is this what girls are going through? Like, but people have been saying that you know the epidural really makes a huge difference, and I hadn't felt any sort of relief at all. So I was in a place of so much pain that like I can't even put into words what type of pain that is or what type of place I was in my mind but I was in a place that I was just it was like I was looking up to my man to just be like I need you to just please take this pain away like the pain was so was so unbearable that I just wanted someone to take it from me because it was just too much and it was too ongoing that's why i feel like the, that's where i feel like the big thing is that um with pains they give you a sense of relief you can have a pain and then take something for it and it'll give you a sense of relief you can you know hit yourself quickly and then it will be just be like an instant pain and then later on it will become something that is painful to you but there was no relief so it was just pure pain 
I was this is me at one billion now. My my the pain is at one billion and <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming, I'm shouting, I'm shouting, I'm screaming. And then I had it I did for a few times I did have the urge to push. Um so I kept telling the nurse, I was like, I feel like I need to push, I feel like I need to push. Um so you know at this point we hadn't checked from the one centimeter from when I actually arrived. So, you know, at this time and it probably was about 10 p.m um yeah about 10 p.m about 11 o'clock um so i had started feeling like i needed to push i needed to i felt like i needed to push i felt like i need to push i just kept saying it but i wasn't ready i'm shouting 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 then like i had my eyes closed but there's like a little space that i could just about see you know who's that there's a few people in the room like i'm like okay there's a few people in the room just see someone come to the room like grace i need to have a conversation with you like can you hear me and and i was like yeah um and she said how she was like why are you you seem like you're in a lot of pain like is there what 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 is it that you can feel and i said i can feel everything i can feel all the pain she was like um do you feel numb i said no so she goes to the cupboard, she gets something cold and she sprays me. She's like, can you feel this? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, can you feel this? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, and she looks at the other nurse and she's like, can you bring her forward? And they bring me forward and my, you guys, <laughs> my hepidural was on the bed. So it is going down my shoulder out of the tube, down my back, onto the bed. Can I get a hello? Can I get a hello? It was on the bed. My painkiller is on the bed. I don't know what's doing there. I just looked to the spirit. <laughs> I just looked to the heavens and I said, ha. Huh? This hospital has failed me. I could not believe that this whole time I have been in so much pain and I have had not one bit of painkillers and you kept rising the pitocin. So I was on the, I was on it, I was in a place, that's why I said there's no way I can describe it. I was in a place of pain and there was no way of getting out of it. They checked it. They wanted to try and put in another epidural. My man was like, listen, my girl, she's in so much pain. Like he was just, all I could hear was, he was cussing them. He was cussing them. The moment that they said that the epidural was on the bed, like honestly, it's because the way I was screaming is like, honestly, he really tried because for you to see your loved one in that much pain and there's nothing you can do about it. It's, it takes a lot. So, um, they now said that, and that they will give me something else. And honestly, guys, it numbed me from like my brain, honestly, it numbed my brain, it numbed everywhere. And that was, so, it was like some, it happened so quick. And that only happened because my man had been asking, he was like, is there nothing you can give her? Like, look, at she's in so much pain. You guys are incompetent. We didn't even, we didn't even make sure that the, 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 the epidural was in properly. Look, at she's in pain and you're still, you know, cause imagine I'm lying, sitting there, they're trying to put in a new one and I'm in, I'm, I'm in a place that's so, you know, the oxytocin has brought up all the contractions. Like I'm in a place that. You know, nobody can talk to me. You can't talk to me. I tell me to talk to be calm. Um, I went to sleep. I woke up and then my, because I was like, I was contracting through my sleep. So I was like sleeping and then I wake up and I would just be like, <gasps> like, and I'm just trying to, I'm just, girl, honestly, I'm just trying to get through it. You know, even though I was numb, it still didn't completely take away the pain. Um, and when I woke up, like when I fully, fully woke up, the numbness had wore off and um you know the contractions were there naturally again so um yeah that was that was it was something else <laughs>
uh, belt there's like two belts that they give you so one belt is to check your contractions and the other one is to be on baby so that you can they can follow his heartbeat and make sure that everything that they're doing basically my one for him was falling off he kept on falling off he kept on sliding off and then um, yeah so they were like they want to put um, something on his hair so that they can check him internally rather than following this because they don't know what you know we, if they can't connect him then they can't check to see if he's okay so as they're checking that the woman's like she's checking around me checking bro if you see the way they violate you lost oh the, the way they violate the non is horrible like, at that point you don't even care you're just like oh yeah take me as i am then afterwards you don't even give a damn it's just like get me out of this state i just want to be free the woman checked to you know because she was obviously going to put something up me and then she was like there's no point, she's nine centimeters. And I said, ha, well, and in that moment, you literally want to shout because you have so many emotions. Like, my baby that I've, I've, I've been wanting to see for the whole nine months is finally, like, at this moment, I'm going to see, like, what? A little bit of pain decreases because you're just like, oh my God, I've, I've made it. I needed to, so I was like, you want to do a big poo, but it's like a, to a bowling ball, like a, a poo that's non existent, basically. And then um, I'm just like, oh, I need to, I need to, I need to push, I need to push. I'm just pushing, I'm praying, I'm pushing, I'm praying. I'm like, oh my God. Like that feeling, oh my God, that feeling is crazy. I have cried so much because I'm that thankful. I have cried every tear in my eye. Like of pure joy, I've cried them. Oh, it was such an amazing day. He finally... You know, after we push, I push, I push, and then I, he finally comes out. I could not look down. Like, straight away, I couldn't look down. I was just thanking God. I was just, if I could put a clip here, I will. Well done. You pushed amazingly. Oh, God. Really God. Absolutely amazing. Hi, Bobby. Yay. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, God, you're so good. I know. Hello. Yes. Yes. I was just thanking God. I was just so happy that he was finally here. I hadn't even heard, you know, anything healthy, this, that, that. I hadn't heard any of that. But I was just so relieved that it was finally. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's. I have I have no words for it. Honestly, it, everything before him, I used to think before uh, with my with my shoulders like you know I, was, I can be so pompous sometimes. I can be so so proud, you know. Like I felt like I had accomplished so much and I'd done really well and I'm doing really well in my career and I'm doing really well with everything. It was just like oh I'm doing well in my relationship. Where things are good, like you know. Oh, my, everyone's healthy this and that you just feel so sure of yourself like I felt like I had accomplished so much but it was that moment that I realized I had not even done anything uh, so it's 2.7 kilos you do pounds uh yeah so that's actually six pounds it's six pounds yeah. baby there's some six pounds. Mm -hmm. wow, they lied to you. <laughs> they lied to you. <laughs> what they say? She was 6'5". He was 6'5", two weeks ago. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Look towards daddy this way. He is my biggest accomplishment today. I wake up in the morning and I look at him. I just adore every single part of him. He is my whole life. My whole entire life. I don't believe it. I could not believe, like... It's mine. This is mine. This is my child. Like, very, very odd and strange feeling. The strangest feeling. But the one that I feel the most comfortable with. I feel so comfortable being a mum. Like, everything just came so naturally and so easy. And so, you know, I don't even want, I don't want help. I don't want anyone to just, you know, I just want him all to myself. <laughs> I don't even share him with his dad is painful to me. Like I don't want to share anything about him. He's just so perfect, honestly. Um and so 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 beautiful. So incredibly beautiful. People think he's a girl, that's what's mad. Like they'll be like, is he a boy or a girl? He's so tiny, he weighed six pounds and he was just 
beautiful from head to toe. So it was almost like everything that happened, um, I couldn't be mad at because this gift just literally blew every bad thing I felt about pregnancy. Um, I would say the first things that were immediate to me were um, that my body was really, really, really tired. It was done. It was. It, it had gone left, right, centre, up, back, front. It was done. My man was taking pictures of, of the baby in the ink while he was like sit back, sitting in the, the the little bed, plastic bed that they have for them. And he was taking pictures. He was like, "Oh, babe, come, come and see this." And I, I, I physically couldn't because I was just so exhausted. I was so tired, and but I still ended up walking over with my, with my, um, my, my water. I'm gonna do another video on, on, on postpartum because I feel like that is one of the major things that for me, was the most challenging because there are so many things that happen when you come home and nobody speaks about it. But it's the most important. Because even when they gave me my baby, and he's like so small, even right now, he's a month old and he's so small. And I thought, you just give me this baby. I don't even want to ask me any questions. Don't even let me take this small baby home. Just like that. And you're only going to come to see me twice. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just made me sort of say a prayer for all the babies that have been born, you know, whether they've been wanted or not been wanted. But just because they're so, babies are so like, they don't know anything and they don't know any better. And they're just so like, you know they rely on you and so that's what I say for myself like my son doesn't he doesn't understand that I'm tired like I have to be on job like so even if I'm tired and I want to sleep like that's not that's not his business his business is that he needs to be cared for his business is that he needs to be raised properly and that's that's my job and that's my duty so I don't really have time to really be like oh, I'm tired. when he's here I'm like I'm quick, the bowl, this, this, that, 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 breast up, squeezing, uh, uh. honestly guys, like, I feel more fulfilled now in my life than I ever have, and um, he's definitely driving me to become a better me, and hopefully, you know, in a few years, I might show him, <laughs> honestly, I feel like the, the, the social media, like, I think he's just so perfect, too perfect for the world he's just too perfect for the world so sometimes it makes me feel like oh i don't really want to like i just want to keep it to myself but you know who knows we'll see i don't know he's just so, so cute i just i'm so in love with him my labor and delivery story and um i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for my um delivery because I need to, I need, the story is so long, I need to be able to talk to you from when he, when I had to stay in the hospital by myself. I need to talk about the hospital and then like going home and my, my man coming to pick us up and then taking us home. So that, that video needs to be separate because it's just, there's just such a, there's a lot, there's a lot of information. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks guys. See you. Thank you very much. See you later.